is up guys it is jay from forever blessed ministries and we're back here with another video this video is going to be very serious and the persecution that's happening across the nation i don't know if you guys saw the olympics but we're seeing mockers we're seeing scoffers and ultimately we're seeing the last days come into manifestation and the Holy Spirit has been impressing on me to go on, but to take a break, to, to ground myself in his presence, because we need to keep our oil burning. A lot of us are trying to keep up with what's happening in media, but all this stuff is going to drain you. So I want to encourage you to take that time to seek the will of the Lord in Jesus name. But we'll get straight into very it. Very recently, I received a very serious message, and this was from someone who apparently watches my YouTube channel, they said this, I'm gonna read it. They said, I, they, they can't even really speak English. I'm not even gonna lie. They said, I going to bury you, dog. You invited my GF. I'm, I might blur out her name, but I'll just call her A and her daughter M to preach in the streets in Seattle. When I reached out to you first, open season on you. You are no man of God or Jesus. You literally have one story, one, but I don't believe it now. And, you know, this person said that I'm a, not a man of God. They said this and that. And this is just the one of many comments that have been persecuting me, guys. This is very serious. And being a minister of the gospel is such a very challenging task because you can't do this for the praise of men. A lot of people, they say he's doing this for views. He's doing this for money. But you don't understand that I didn't choose to do what I'm doing now. This was a call from heaven. And I had the choice to answer because many people before me were called to do what I'm doing. But they denied it because it's such a burdensome task. But I said, Lord, I will do it. The 50 that chose not to preach the gospel, all be that one person to do it. Because I know the times that we're in and I love Jesus Christ. And I'm willing to lay down my life for him. Guys, I don't just preach in patty cake areas. I preach in the darkest areas because I want the light of Jesus Christ to shine. But saints of God, we need to be prepared for the times that are coming because great tribulation is happening. And if you're not sold out for Jesus, if you're not willing to live for Jesus, how do you expect to die for him? And if you're not willing to die for Jesus, how do you expect to go to heaven? because persecution has come to that point. But I wanna encourage you, saints, that our Lord, our Redeemer, our Savior is our living hope and he's coming soon for a spotless bride. And I'm here, saints of God, I've been seeking the Lord in, in prayer and consecration and the Lord gave me a vision of what he wants to do in this next half of this new season that we're in. We're in the eighth month, it's prophetic. And I don't know if you guys knew this, but eight stands for the number new beginnings, hallelujah. And I truly believe that there's a great harvest. The Lord gave me a vision. I literally was sleeping, seeking the Lord for direction, just praying. And I saw a, a vision of a bar and the standard was high. And I saw a bunch of college students, what it looked like. And I had this thought to go to colleges before, but I never followed through with it. But I was literally seeing a bunch of college students, university, it was like freshmen filled and I was just preaching and many people were rejecting it, but there was a few out of the thousand that stayed and received Jesus. So I truly believe that we need vision of what God is doing. And I truly believe that God wants to reach souls in the college sphere. And I'm excited because I'm going fully in into that harvest field. And I wanna encourage you guys to partner with us as we step out in the field. If you guys feel led to give, we're gonna be preaching the gospel at every university, every major large party school, where the, wherever the Lord wills. And I want partners, I want people that are willing to stand with me. If you're in a college state or college county, you, you could, I'll, I'll drop my email, but I am ready for this harvest. And I want people to, to choose the, to partner with us so that we reach this harvest because I truly believe that it's gonna happen. But back to the main point, persecution is arising saints. And we're seeing a ramping up in the kingdom of darkness. There was actually a prophetic word that was released that the kingdom of darkness is partnering against the saints of God. Have you guys noticed 
an increase in spiritual attacks, especially in the nighttime. You want to know why? Because Satan is literally partnering. And even my neighbor had a sign, which is wanted, you know, because Satan isn't even hiding. In, in Africa and other countries, witches hide. In America, land of the free, witches don't even hide anymore. And it's so sad because us as the kingdom of God, us as the saints of God, we need to manifest the light or the darkness is going to prevail. And I once heard a saying from a pastor. He said that when the saints of God don't pray, portals in the earth that link to hell open up and demons come out. And that's what we're seeing. We're seeing a plaguing in the kingdom of darkness against the children of God. But how many of you are truly grounded in your first love? There's some of you that are watching. You're not praying anymore. You're not fasting. You're not keeping your fire. You need fire. I'm telling you, the word of God says that the steadfast love of God is better than life. God is literally better than life. What do you have to lose by losing your life in Christ? You know, that's why I have to make that decision every time to pray, to seek the Lord, because my life isn't my own. And we need to come to that point where our life isn't our own. But I'm ready to do the will of the Father. And I want to encourage you guys to stand with me as we reach these souls. My birthday is in three days. It's in August 12th. So I've been relaxing, enjoying. But I'm going to be back in the battlefield to, to beat up that devil. You know what I'm saying? But if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to like, comment, subscribe. And we are going to reach many souls in Jesus name, I don't care that the devil tried to threaten to take my life. I go up wherever the Lord says, and I shall live and I shall not die to declare the works of the Lord. In Jesus name, praise the Lord. Amen. I love you guys.